Okay, so uh, let's continue with lesson uh, 4, uh, continuous random variable, so standardizing a normal random variable. Suppose that x is a normal random variable with mean mu and a variance of sigma squared, so meaning we have a standard deviation. So the random variable could be uh, standardized using this equation where the c value is equal to x minus mu over your sigma. Then this is uh, going to be your z equal 0 and the variance to be equal to 1. So the probability is obtained using appendix table 3 with uh, this C value. So, meaning papalitan lang natin. So, from x, the probability of x less than or equal to x, so x, small x, is just equal to the probability of z capital less than small c. So, where x will be transformed to z by this equation. So, magiging ganto siya, C, using this one. While your small value x will be utilizing this one. So, when you have your Z value, you can use your Z table or the calculator. For that. So, let's have this one. Suppose that the current measurement in a strip of wire are assumed to follow a normal distribution with mu equals 10 and a sigma uh, squared or a variance of 4 milliampers squared. What is the probability that the current measurement exceed 13 n? So let x denote the current in milliamp here. So we uh, want to get your z value where the formula for the transformation is x minus 10 over 2. Where 2 is your sigma. Sigma this is your sigma. So square root lang, square root lang, for so, probability of x greater than 13 to z, uh, small c. So, yung x mo, ito lang yun, magiging c. So, yung 13 minus 10 over, divided by 2 will equal to 1.5. So, z is greater than 1.5. So, kung kukunin yun sa calculator, so... Uh, stat mode, mode, uh, shape 1, distribution. So, dahil ito ay greater than, you can use R. So, R ng 1.5. So, the value is 0 0.068, uh, 66807 or 66801. Okay? Ang ginawa dito ay subtract Ginawang less than. Kasi, gagamit ng tabulation. So, table yung ginamit yan. So, pag kinuha mo yung table, ang makuha mo ay 0.93319. Okay? So, here is going to be And, ito lang yung transformation. So, paano siya transform? Yan yung value using calculator or you can use your table. Okay, next. Uh, sorry, this is great, greater than data. This is greater than Okay, uh, suppose that the current measurement in a strip of wire are assumed to follow a normal distribution with mu of 10 and a standard deviation of 2 milliampere. What is the probability that the current measurement is between 9 and 11? So this is the probability where x is between 9 and 11. Okay? So, itatransform nyo lang siya into probability of uh, C, Z. So, kailangan natin malaman yung value nito. So, ang uh, Z will be transformed using X minus mu over sigma. So, this is X minus 10 over 2. So, pag 9 yung ginamit. So, 9 minus 10 divided by uh, 2. So, that's negative 0 0.5. Yung 11 naman. Um, 
11 minus 10, divide by 2, para rin, 0.5 naman siya. So, that will be probability of 0.5 minus probability of negative 0.5. Okay, so, this will be uh, probability of 0.5 minus probability of negative 0.5. So, the answer is 0.38292. Or you can use the table para makuha yung value nito sa table. But, the same pa rin naman yung so, 0.38292. Okay? So, that's how you will utilize yung uh, normalizing random variable or random distribution. Okay? You can use this Excel formula. Okay. Determine the value for which the probability that a current measurement is below 0.98. So, ang hinahanap natin ngayon dito ay yung probability na 0.98, yung value. So, the probability that a current measurement, ang hinahanap ay yung current, so yung x. So, from this one, ang gagawin nyo ay if you determine yung z, hanapin nyo yung z value. So, pag kinuha nyo to, ano yung value ng C na point 0.98? So, sa table ulit, sa ng Montgomery, hanapin nyo yung point 0.98. So, ah, ito, 2.2 so, 2.05 siya na value. And uh, from there, x minus 10 over 2 is equal to 2.05. So, solving for x uh, will be uh, 14.1 milli. Um, so, x to solving for x. Okay? So, uh, that will be the uh, value of x. Okay? Or you can have this 14.01 uh, normal inverse. Inverse yung sinasaya. Okay? So, you can pause and answer this hit work. So, you can uh, write it in a band paper or a yellow paper and answer for 1 and 2. Okay? Then we will proceed. So, kailangan isubmit yung sit work number 5 sa canvas. So, magbibigay lang ako ng uh, deadline kung kailan siya isasabi. Okay? Now, normal approximation. So, a normal approximation usually is used for binomial and Poisson distribution. So, that it will become a bell-shaped and symmetric as their mean value increase. So, for manual calculation, the normal approximation uh, is practical, exact probability of the binomial and plus one with large mean requires uh, Minitab and Excel. But, you can use pag binomial, ito yung basis, ang um, NP is greater than 5 and N times 1 minus P is greater than 5. So, pag greater than 5 yung value niya, then you can use yung normal approximation. Sa puso naman, ay yung lambda ay greater than 5. Okay? So, paano ginagawa yung normal approximation? So, for binomial distribution. So, yung C transformation mo, yung value, is utilizing this formula where C is equal to x minus np over square root ng np times 1 minus p. Diba? Ito yung mean natin. Ito yung expected value eh. At ito naman yung uh, variance. Kaya, yan yung gagamitin. Kaya lang, ang kaibahan niya, hindi direkta na x at saka itong x na to yung ilalagay. Pag less than, yung x is yung variable, x is less than or equal to x, you just add 0.05. Pag greater 
than x is greater than this one. x is greater than uh, yung x, yung small x, then minus yung ilalagay. So, papalitan nyo lang to. Instead na x siya, x plus 0 0.05, tsaka x minus 0 0.05. And this is good for NP is greater than 5 and N times 1 minus P greater than 5. Okay? For range of value, ito yung gagawin. Huh? So, X1 minus 0.5 minus NP over yung standard deviation. Then this one, X squared plus 0.5 minus NP over square root ng NP times 1 minus Okay, now, tingnan natin sa value. Pag ang NP mo, di ba, yung NP ay uh, uh, 5 or above 5, the curve of the binomial uh, distribution, ito yun, yung kada points na yan, ay approximately uh, equal sa, uh, sa normal distribution. Kaya lang, pag malaki, tingnan nyo to. Diba? Yung NP, uh, 0.1 times 10, is 1, ito ay 9. So, hindi siya nagiging bell shape. Babalik tayo yung isura. So, basically, pag p-value is near 0 and 1, hindi siya maganda. So, dapat, uh, between uh, 0.5 siya or malapit sa point. Okay, let's apply the approximation. In the digital communication channel, assume that the number of bits received in error can be modeled by a binomial random variable. The probability that a bit is received in error is 10 to the negative 5. If 16 million bits are transmitted, what is the probability that 150 or fewer error occurs. So, ang tinatanong yung probability of error is uh, less than or equal to 150. Okay? Ang N natin ay 16 million. 16 times 10 to the 6 bits. Yan yung N. Ano yung probability ng error? P is 10 to the negative 5. So, pag kinuntit nyo yung NP, that will be NP. NP. So, 16 exponent to, uh, to 6 times uh, 10 raised to negative 5. So, this is 160, yung NP. So, greater than 5, so we can use uh, the approximation. So, ano yung approximation? Ito na lang, pakita na to. So, the approximation, di ba, less than 150, so mag add ka ng uh, 0.5. Okay? Then, this one is NP, di ba? Ang NP natin ay 160. So, uh, 160, then dito, uh, utilize this one, 1 minus P. Ang P ay 10 to the negative 5. Ang NP, this is NP. So, ito yung value. Uh, substitute nyo lang yung 150. And this one will have a value of negative 0 0.75104. So, ano yung probability? So, use distribution 1, negative. 0 0.75104. Okay. Then equal. So, 0 0.22631 yung sagot. Really now. So, you just apply the formula. Okay. So, sa exam naman, uh, ibibigay yung uh, formula. Required. Uh, allowed naman yung uh, formula sheet. Okay. Now, for the Poisson distribution, pareho lang din. But, the difference is that ito yung C transformation. So, kasi ang Tucson, ang uh, expected value or the mean is C lambda and the variance is all yun. So, 
lambda. So, pag kinuha nyo yung standard deviation, kasi ito ay standard deviation, square root lang ng lambda. And dapat, greater than or equal to 5 yung lambda mo for a good approximation. So, let's have the Poisson as approximation. Assume that the number of asbestos particles in a square meter of dust on a surface follow a Poisson distribution with a mean value. So, ang mean ay 1,000. So, mean and variance. If a square meter of dust is analyzed, what is the probability that uh, 950 or fewer are found? So, the probability that your uh, x is fewer or equal to 950. So, pag transpose, ito lang siya. Ito lang yung approximation. Uh, take note, Pag ginawa nyo yung Poisson approximation, ito yung formula. So, sobrang dami. Kaya naman siya ng calculator, but I'm not sure kung mabilis siyang makukobyo. But, if you use the approximation, so, you just utilize yung uh, x minus uh, lambda over square root ng lambda. Okay? So, but this one, kailangan i-add yung 0.5. So, 950.5 minus 1, 1, 0, 1,000 over square root ng 1,000. So, Z ng kinuha nyo yung probability ng uh, value na to. Negative 1.57. So, the answer is 0 0.058208. Okay? So, you can use Poisson distribution using Excel by this notation. Okay, so we'll end here.